Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time visiting, my name's Sappy, and I'm here to talk to you guys, as you can tell from the title, all about how to get longer, thicker, healthier hair. Um, my hair is pretty long, I don't know if how low this video goes, but my hair is about um, up to like below, like just above my belly button, and um, I like to keep it at that length, and I do a lot of things in order to ensure that it stays healthy at that length. So I thought that I'd first share my top three tips with you guys. Um, I'd first share my top few tips with you guys, and then I'd show you what products I use on my hair. So if you guys want to hear my top tips, then please keep watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you can see more videos like this. Thank you. So my first tip for getting longer hair, and believe it or not, I know loads of people say it and people think it's a myth, but it's actually not a myth, is cutting your hair regularly. I cut my hair, and by cut I mean just a trim, so if like this is the bottom of my hair, like maybe like this much off the bottom every six to eight, eight weeks. I think that it's really important to cut your hair regularly as it promotes growth. The more split ends you have, the more they rise up your hair and damaging your hair throughout. So cutting them regularly ensures that your hair stays healthy, not only at the bottom, but also promotes growth so it gets longer as well. Um, so yeah, that will get you healthier hair and longer hair. My second tip is definitely reduce the amount of heat going onto your hair as much as you can. Um, I know it's obviously not always possible and convenient, um, and surely we're gonna have occasions where we wanna do our hair, I know I certainly do. But on the regular, I adapt my um, hair routine so that I try and reduce the amount of heat that I use. So usually I shower at night time, and after I've showered, I will get a towel, and I will like literally rub my hair in between the towel like that, and I will basically towel dry my hair um, so that it's completely like as not dripping as it could be and then I will go to sleep with that hair and when I wake up in the morning it's usually mostly dry, dry enough to be able to go out but if it's not dry enough to be able to go out then I will then dry it for like a minute, maximum two minutes, it really doesn't take much longer so if you do that that will definitely minimise the amount of heat you use or using heat protection um, every time when you um, use heat on your hair also helps as well. My third tip that I want to give people is not to put too many products, especially oils, into your hair. Putting too much oils, especially at the roots, can lead to eventual um, damage to your hair because your hair is so used to producing oils for itself that if you start adding in more oils it just doesn't work well and I've seen loads of people like have thinning of the hair as a result of excessive um, oil, putting excessive oil into their hair. So I really wouldn't recommend that. So those are my top tips for getting longer, thicker, healthier hair. And I'm gonna show you the products that I use in order to ensure that my hair stays healthy. So, sorry that these are straight out of the shower, but the first product that I use is the Awesome Volume Shampoo by Aussie. And um, this shampoo is really, really good. It smells incredible, let me smell it. Oh, I can't even, it smells florally and really sweet and it smells amazing. It smells, the smell like lasts on your hair so the next day people can always tell me like your hair smells amazing and it feels incredible, it feels soft. Um, I'm not sure about the volume aspect of it but I can't really judge because I have really long and like heavy hair so it's really hard to get volume in my hair anyway. So um, I'm not sure if it actually adds volume. Um, I think that's more to do with how you style your hair, but in terms of it feeling healthy, feeling strong, and smelling incredible, I really, really love this product. Next up is the conditioner that I use. I actually switched between two. I'm going to show you the first one, and I'll show you the second one. This is conditioner when my hair is feeling more dry. Um, this is the Luxurious Moroccan Argan Creme Conditioner by OGX, and it looks like that. And um, this one smells very much like argan oil. It smells a lot like argan oil and um, it leaves my hair feeling much more moisturised if I've done something where I feel like it, or if I've left it way long between cuts. This feels, makes it feel much less dry and um, straw like so I really really like that. Otherwise I would usually use the Miracle Moist Conditioner by Aussie. I absolutely love this product. This one smells like sweets I think. Yeah, it smells exactly like sweets. I absolutely love the smell of this. It leaves my hair, like it says on the bottle, 
absolutely very moist, very, very hydrated and incredible and I love it. It's a really, really good product. It's a really good conditioner. It gets all the tangles out and works really well. Another product that I like to use, and this I guess is like my fourth tip for hair care, is um, the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Shine Deep Protein Treatment. Um, it says for dull, tired hair begging to shine. Um, and I really recommend this product for when your hair really needs a deep treatment. So I use this product either once every two weeks or once every three weeks in place of the conditioner. And I leave it in for three minutes like it says. And I just do that. I just leave it in while I'm washing the rest of my body. And it actually really helps to rejuvenate your hair and keep it healthy. Or if you have damaged hair from uh, dyeing it a lot, I really recommend the 3 Minute Miracle range. So they have other ones that isn't just for shine. And I really recommend them for deep treatments in order to treat your hair um, if you've coloured it and if you feel like it, it's damaged. I use it every two to three weeks because my hair is... Um, never been coloured before, so it's al already not too bad. But if you've coloured it, I really recommend using deep, deep treatments, it really helps. The penultimate product I'm going to talk about is the Argan Secret Miracle 10 Leave-In uh, leave Spray Treatment. So I spray this on my hair almost as like a detangler every time I come out of the shower. And you leave it in and it's got an Argan scent. This The Argan scent in this is much stronger than the Argan scent in the, shampoo, in the conditioner by OGX. I really love the smell of this. It, again, gives you all the benefits of Argan oil. So it's called Miracle 10 because it, I think it's because it does 10 things. Detangles, reduces static, controls frizz, prevents, prevents damage, repairs damage improves moisture levels, adds shine, gives a silky feel, enhances manageability and improves shine. And I believe that it really does all the things that it says. It's like a shine spray and um, a nourishing spray. It's really good. I think it's something good to add to your hair care routine. When you come out of the shower, just spray this on your hair, hold it like this distance apart and just spray. You can spray it on dry hair as well, um, but I prefer to just, like put it on straight out of the shower so don't forget to use it. And the final product I want to share with you guys is the um, Tangle Teaser Ultra Paddle Brush. Um, I've used paddle brushes all of my life to brush my hair and my sister got these a year ago, I think, and they are a game changer. They are so soft, when you put it through, there is, it doesn't matter how many knots you have, you will never ever feel like um, you're pulling out a knot. So usually when you're detangling your hair, especially when you come out of the shower, it's really painful because I don't know about you guys, but my hair gets quite knotty and I need to brush it out and it's just ugh, pulling my hair. But this, I think it's because it's got so many um, like bristles coming out of each hole that it really helps to make it much, like softer and more gentle on your hair. And being more gentle on your hair is obviously beneficial because it reduces hair loss. Um, just by pulling it out, which we usually do by brushing our hair vigorously. So brush gently, and I would really recommend getting one of these. I don't know, I think they're about £10. Um, I got mine from Sally's, and I really, really, really love them, and I would recommend them to all of you. So that's all of the tips and the products that I use. I really hope that you guys found this video useful and there was some information in there that you guys could use um, to keep your hair looking longer, thicker, and healthier. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this and check out my other YouTube videos as well. Thank you guys for watching.